Hello, everybody. It is Craig Shoemaker with Enlightened Up. I, uh, I'm feeling kind of light today, kind of mellow. I'm pretty exhausted, actually, because I just did this, you know, three-hour sleep thing, uh, do my thing here at a comedy show I produced, then I go down to... <laughs> I can't even think of all the things I did down to San Diego to do radio in the morning and then two shows at night, two nights in a row. I drive back and then we drove seven hours up to go whitewater rafting. We went whitewater rafting with the family to celebrate my son's 12th birthday and uh, we just had a fabulous time. Uh, but I am feeling just kind of mellow, just drove another seven hours back and here we are. It's my son's birthday today. And uh, although it's not the day you're listening to this, so don't bother saying happy birthday, Jackson. <laughs> well, anyway, yes, I um, I just look at this boy and it's amazing. It's kind of like what I'd like to teach here is what he teaches me. He teaches me how to be in presence, in the now. Don't buy into fears. He has no agenda. He doesn't need attention. I'm like, wow, where was this guy? Actually, I probably wouldn't be a comedian if I didn't go for attention. Because that is the motivation many times, but it's not anymore. I Really, this podcast is for you. I actually should start looking up at the camera here. We are on video, by the way, which uh, we failed to tell our guest today. We have uh, Michelle Malazaki is here, Yay, and I finally know how to pronounce her name. Oh, She's, thank you for pronouncing it right. Yeah, what's my name? How's my name pronounced? Oh, I can't pronounce it. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Uh, not the first one. The second oh, one's usually oh, the difficult. Shoemaker. Although a lot of times Craig, they say Craig. Oh, that's how Americans say it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you say it? Craig. Yeah, Craig is very. Uh, like the like the James Bond. Right. Well, people mispronounce his name too. <laughs> In England, though, they say Craig, and uh, that's probably the right way to say it. It's not like an egg it doesn't rhyme with egg or Greg. It's Craig. Anyway, Michelle. Michelle. So is that your name? You grew up in Japan. Is that your name you were born with, or did you Americanize it? Well, I well, I well, my parents are Christians. They met at the church, okay. youth group. And they're both Japanese. Yeah, both Japanese, but you know, they met at the youth group. The youth group that's in Japan. In Japan for Christian people. For Christian know. people. So and, the Christians um, made their way over to Japan, which were mostly... What Shinto is and Buddhism and then but the Christians made their way in there at some point. Well, we believe in everything. You do, especially money. Okay, <laughs> that, that's um, everybody's god. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So just look at just look at the Vatican. <laughs> <laughs> it's its own city. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so then, there's a lot of money there. Absolutely. Yeah. So um, when you are born in Japan, yeah. people would take the ba people take you to the Shinto shrine mm -hmm. and have you. I don't know. Pray for you. And they pray for they you? Pr they pray for the baby. Where do you go back now that you became a comedian? They're going to be doing a lot of praying. praying for There's going to be some sore knees well, <laughs> praying for you to get some recovery from this. We don't have R or L in Japanese. Right. So pray could be play. Ah, play. Ah, <laughs> so this car. <laughs> That's a great idea. Yeah, yeah, Say, yeah. look, I'm playing play. away over here. There you go. I'm playing down the street at the Canyon Club. I'm playing at yeah. Levity Live. You're, you're just booking everything up now. This yeah, is fantastic. Yeah, yeah. A career that's how long? How long you've been in the business? I've been doing stand-up for four years. Four? Yeah, four. Wow. Um, just a newbie. Yeah, that is that is very new. Yeah. I mean, I think about where I was at four years. In, it was uh, I was in college. Wow, wow. Was, yeah, I started in high school. So when how, how long was it ago? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Do the math. Oh, yeah. My daughter thinks I'm 38, so Aww. that's all that counts. <laughs> and I'm not 38. But when you were seven, I I was when I was seven, I thought I'd be dead by 36. Yeah, right. Yeah, so 38. Is it like, the same way in Japan where you thought the people that were somebody's parents, you thought, wow, they're so old, they're like two days from death, <laughs> right? That's how I thought no, when I was younger. When I was young, growing up, Nostradamus's prophecy was oh. very popular, and oh my gosh, they have this like. Music like uh, you're gonna die. I don't know. 1990. I'm gonna die. I'm That's gonna what they do in Japan too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. As if you didn't already have it tough during World War II. Now they just want to add more yeah, to it. Yeah. yeah. What well, you weren't taken out by those two bombs. Now you're yeah. gonna be taken out by what were they saying? That Nostradamus predicted the how third, how are we meeting our doom? The third war war. Oh, another war, yeah, right. and then it's going to be all doomed. And like, he predicted uh, Hitler. He yeah, called yeah, him yeah. Hister, I believe, something like that, right? But 
maybe he didn't. People are just trying to put them together. Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah they're yeah. trying but, to. So I don't, I don't know, but I was like so scared. <laughs> yeah. Well, this is the way that, by the way, it's one of the reasons for this podcast is to give people an alternative to being scared. Everything's about, right? If they try to frighten us, which makes us make decisions that are not rash decisions, they're not spirit based decisions. It's all based on, oh my God, I have to join a tribe now to be accepted in the tribe or I'll be humiliated or shamed, right? And then so now that we're in fear, we're not in our own presence. Yeah, yeah. Does it, and I, they do this in Japan as well. Yeah, of course. So then you get in line with what they want you to do. Well, actually, um, they say the nail that sticks out gets hammered. So like you have to be the same height nail or you wow. get hammered. They must have done a lot of hammering because Japanese aren't known for no. being very tall. Sure. <laughs> sure. <laughs> my my wife is from Japan, yeah. as you know. And uh, did you you met her years ago? Yeah, Mika San. Mika San. Yeah. You met her years ago in um, at a baseball yeah, game. Yeah, baseball game. Right? You're coaching. Yes, I was coaching, which I you tell our tell our listeners how you ended up getting the comedy. And listen, I've inspired some careers. I mentored some people. I've never. There will never be another time. That this was the inspiration. What what happened that you so, ended up? Well, I so I so we have sons that are same age, right? And they were playing baseball together. Mm -hmm. And every time your son comes up, like pitching, he was. A, he, I don't know. Does he still play baseball? No, no, no. Oh. That's, that's long ago. Well, he all the kids defy me now. They all do things <laughs> that I don't like or or that I'm not good at. <laughs> <laughs> you know, one one took up lacrosse, knowing oh, I wow. had never played lacrosse. Wow. Oh yeah, they do it on purpose now. <laughs> and and definitely computer games. I'm out. I mean, I know how to do a toggle switch. That's about it. <laughs> so it, so yeah. yeah so, so your son was a good pitcher, mm -hmm. and he was pitching very well. But then you heckle, like. But like <laughs> as in Yoda, <laughs> and like oh, 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 I was like, is this what Americans do? I I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, how long have you been here? I I've been here for a long time. You've been here a long time. Yeah, but I I don't know. I'm pretty slow. I didn't know stand up comedy exists till like four and a half years ago. So when you found out I was a comedian, go this guy's funny. Yeah. I think I might travel down that road. <laughs> Now I hope you don't heckle your children like I do. No, I I, um, I traumatize them. <laughs> you traumatize them while I do the same thing. <laughs> it's it's really uh, parenting is a concept that has no leaders. There are no books. I mean, there's attempts at them, but they're ever changing. I'm finding out these formulas as we go. <laughs> you know, we're all scientists in a lab with no you know with no master scientist teaching us. There's no good way. There's no perfect way to do it. Yeah, I, I love reading. Yeah. And I went to Thousand Oaks Library book sale. Mm -hmm. And right before I had the baby, I had my first one. I found the Japanese edition of Dr. Spock's book. Really? Yeah. yeah. It was written in 1954. In the 50s, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And um, it says, smoke a little bit before you breastfeed. <laughs> 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 or um, like hide your ashtray away. Like I don't have any ashtray. In my house. <laughs> hey, listen, when we were kids growing up, literally in art class, that's what you made your parents or your grandparents. Uh, you made them ashtrays with the little beds, you know, for uh, the for the butts. Yeah, like uh, um, how yeah. you call those the air air clay or yeah yeah. Oh yeah, you put them in the kiln. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I made so many. Uh, that was I was a master at the ashtray. And now, if you <laughs> nobody nobody even knows what an ashtray is. If you smell if you smell smoke from a distance, let alone going to someone's house and it's completely filled with smoke. <laughs> I'm sure in Japan they do a lot of smoking there. We used to, but the oh, has that changed yeah, as but well? It's changing, yeah. Well, maybe the maybe your growth won't be stunted However, anymore. That's what they say. Your growth <laughs> is stunted from smoking. But uh, the town that I grew up. In yeah, the town festival is called Tobacco Festival. Really? Yeah, because they used to grow tobacco tree or shrub. Or they whatever. grow tobacco in Japan. I yeah, didn't know in that. My, in my town, so really, yeah, every summer they have Tobacco Festival. Wow, 
I mean, it still goes on. I, I don't know. They might change the tobacco part. Yeah, it might be cannabis yeah. now. They might have <laughs> switched them over to cannabis. Very popular. Yeah. By the way, is marijuana legal there? No, not yet. Not it's, yet. But it might, but not yet. Yeah, you know how that happened, too, how it became yeah. demonized and criminalized? Did you know what happened? Mm, corporations. Yeah. yeah, take a guess. Uh, taxing. Yeah, well, people were threatened, like DuPont was threatened and uh, William Randolph Hearst, and they go to the lawmakers and they bribe them, and then all of a sudden it's demon. It's the demon weed. This is how the whole thing works. This is what's driving me crazy with all the, you know, with what's going on right now with the pandemic and stuff. It's like, well, this one's got a solution. This one has a solution. But if you just peel away the money, you know, is it really the solution? I mean, that's what's driving me nuts is we can't even have the discussion because they own the narrative. And they always have. I mean, since the beginning of time, people defend the corporations. So it's the same thing in Japan. I'm sure, I'm sure. Probably more so. Yeah, more so. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, is it sort of a, what, when did you move here? At what age? Oh, gosh. Long time ago. What, what age did you move? 19. Here? You're worse than I am with, with age. 19. Well, I, oh, you were 19? Yeah, I was 19. That's interesting. Mika moved when she was 18. Oh, wow. Yeah. And has no accent, by the I way. Know, with you. I know. When are you going to drop the accent? I, okay. <laughs> I, I took some. I, I don't know. I don't have the regular. I thought you were going to say, I don't have an accent. No. <laughs> Everybody oh, okay. listening is going, oh, yes, you do. Oh, this, uh, no. Um, I took, I had some tutor yeah. to fix my English. I'd fire the tutor. No, and, no, no. <laughs> so and, then she's, and, then, and then I told her I want to be a stand-up comedian. Yeah. And she's like, uh, maybe you should keep it. <laughs> so I ghosted her. You ghosted her. <laughs> <laughs> so you have a tutor to teach you. I mean, there's so much culturally and there's slang. I can't imagine learning English because it's not even English. Different parts of the country are... Oh. I don't even understand English people at this point. So did I tell you I went to Temple University in That's Tokyo? That's my college. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah. so weird. You're an in owl. Tokyo. Yeah, owl. <laughs> Are you? Re- you're you're literally a temple owl. Well, I yeah, I went to Temple University, Tokyo, or Japan. And my teacher, yeah, was a gay guy from Oklahoma. I don't know if I gay guy, <laughs> but from <laughs> Oklahoma. Oh, like, you can't say that. Thirty years ago, you can't say the Oklahoma part. Okay, I, yeah, that's the, yeah. yeah. We'll, have well, to edit, we'll have to edit that out. Okay, you so can't, you uh, so the <laughs> in, so the English phrase. Phrases yeah. that he taught me mm-hmm. is like, for sure, for sure, gag me with the spoon. Whoa, he did not. <laughs> he did. He, he did. didn't say gag me with yeah, a spoon. Yeah, gag me with the spoon. Shut he might have said gag me with a dick, but he no. wouldn't say. Gag me with <laughs> Maybe he. That's what he wanted, but he. <laughs> no, me. gag me with a spoon is from the nineteen eighties right? Valley yeah. Girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he taught us how to speak like a Valley Girl. So. Because he thought that that's how you should learn is Valley Girl speak. No, that is unbelievable. Know. Yeah, you know. I feel <laughs> Temple University. I thought we were at, at an accredited university. Yes. And you got a guy from Oklahoma, well, not Philadelphia, who's teaching you Valley yeah. Girl speak. Yeah. Well, gag me with a spoon. I, well, shut the front door. That's that's actually more recent. It is. I don't know where that comes from. It's more, <laughs> that's more of a bridesmaids or oh something God. like that. But the, at least that would be okay. But going back to uh, Nicolas Cage's debut, <laughs> from a, I think that was his debut back in the 80s. Mm-hmm. Actually, he was in a movie. Um, what was the movie with uh, Sean Penn and uh, oh, uh, oh, oh, uh, oh. Uh, uh, Fast Times at Ridgemont High? He had like a like a two line part in that. Oh wow, I didn't know that. Oh yeah, that was a Forrest Whitaker was in that. That was a, you know, Sean Penn. That was a great movie. If you want to see, do you watch movies to teach you about America and which ones would they be? Oh, gosh. I I used to be an extra, did I tell you? No, but I uh, but, but we'll get to that. I want to know do you do you watch movies though? And, and I, what do I you, used to, but and, and what did you watch that you thought, "Oh, this is America." I don't I I grew up watching a lot of TV shows like Family Ties in Japan. In Japan, and they all spoke Japanese That's very so well. That's so funny. My wife's crush is Michael J. Fox. Me too. You too? Get out! And oh, then, and then I saw him at the Universal Studios when yeah. they opened the ride, the Back to the Future ride. He was there. He was there. I mean, it was like many, many, oh, many, many years ago, and um, he wasn't what I. I don't know how he... He wasn't what you thought he would be? Maybe he aged. I don't know. Of course he <laughs> aged. We all age. What, you expect him to stay? You think he's going to show up in a down vest? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and but be, he, he wasn't wearing a down 
breakfast. So. No, of course. Yeah. We all age. I go way back with him. Very Aww. nice guy. One of my favorite people I've ever met in show business, actually. Oh, nice. The one thing that was a surprise, though, is now there's something I'm pretty sure you don't know this, but there's a theory about big heads, large heads, large craniums as making it in television and film before a lot of the people that don't. And he became a mega superstar in his time. And he has one of the smallest heads. Mm -hmm. Like we would go out together and he would always wear a hat and the hat would like bury his head where you just saw like a mouth maybe and a chin. <laughs> and uh, it always surprised me. I was going, oh, so goes the big head theory because this guy, and I've got a big dome. He looks like, you know, I look like Jupiter and he's Mercury when we go out to the, <laughs> so, with the big head difference. Big, yeah. yeah. But uh, in Japan... Were there people that you idolized in Japan? Were there, were there comedians? Were there, you know, people? Can you think of a comedian that was I, nailing it back then? Yeah, I've been watching a lot of Rakugo, which is a classic Japanese comedy. Really? Yeah, and, but you have to you have to get an apprentice. You have to be an apprentice to a master and uh -huh. study for four years before you are allowed to do... The jokes. So you're just at the time now, yeah, yeah, four, yeah, like years, four in. years in. Um, yeah. Like, well, you've been premature. Um, you've been pre you've been premature ejaculation for a while now. <laughs> this, this is unbelievable. I, I don't know how you got away with it. Yeah, but you you have to know how to sit down in Japanese way on the little pillow. I don't think I could do that. I'm too old. <laughs> so I don't understand what you mean by s you're sitting yeah, like on you a pillow to, doing stand-up? Yeah, you, no, it's, so it's kneel-down comedy. Yeah, it's kneel-down, and it's called rakugo. Raku means rakugo. like the, um, raku means fall. Uh -huh. So it's like a punchline, punchline word. Yeah. Yeah, so they do have punch, but they have like long setup, like a storytelling. More storytelling, yeah, which and I at, like, actually. Yeah, at yeah. the end, they have a great punchline. That's how it goes. Now, you did Roast Battle recently yeah, I did. and I with did. Uh, Jeffrey Ross, who's... Yeah. Just the king of the world. He really found his pocket. This is, you know what I mean? Like, I go way back with him as oh, well. Wow. And he was a, you know, standard comedian, very great comedian, but didn't quite stand out to the point where he would have liked to. And then he made this decision. It was interesting. One of the things I heard him say, and we'll have him on the podcast, is, is he roasts people that volunteer to be roasted. Mm -hmm. That was an interesting Thank concept. You. Like, he went and roasted uh, Richard Branson, I believe it was. Richard Branson was not happy with it because he was hired to perform at the party, but not to roast Richard Branson. So he hadn't given his permission to say, hey, go ahead, have at it. Where if you volunteer for a roast, yeah, you're saying, yeah, yeah. hey, go ahead. So who did you go against well, when you I, did this? So this guy asked me, well, I asked him either way um, to be on his battle mate. And that's how his I, battle mate. I guess I don't know. Battle. It's two person. against two. No, one against one battle person. Uh, oh, that you battled against, uh, yeah, against you know, an yeah, opponent. Yeah, opponent. So he chose you? What well, does that say about you? It's, I know. <laughs> I, that means, oh, I got an easy one here. Charlie speaks, yeah, maybe, speaks English. Maybe, uh, yeah, like, oh, she can't speak English. I'll win. <laughs> I'll take her. And he, and he did win, <laughs> I, right? He did win. I, I spent all day writing jokes. You and, did? Yeah, I did. And, and tell me, and, tell me a couple jokes that you said to this guy. Oh, I, I want to hear well, how mean you, you can be. I don't know. I, I didn't even again picture you being mean, but go ahead. Uh, my, Pretend I'm him. Yeah. Uh, well, um, my oh, so his name is Paul. Paul, you are so famous. Even my daughter knows because you are everywhere in town. You can't. You can't. I can't tell you how am I doing. The blowing guy at the oh <laughs> oh that that the guy in the wind yeah yeah the guy like in the, the wind, wind sock yeah. <laughs> uh, guy so that so that's that was your joke to that him that was All one right. of the jokes I can't remember what else I uh, I was like repeat. that's your top joke no no, no I can't rem <laughs> I can't remember what I uh, what did I say I, yeah what did you say I mean you you had to have attacked him right yeah I uh, but I. Did it all wrong. He he was like, "Ah, oh, Michelle, you know, you you like to you like to bomb." <laughs> mm -hmm. Because I'm from Japan. Oh yeah, no, yeah. he went there. Yeah, I boo him on yeah, that yeah, one. And well, someone said that to my wife. We were out to dinner. She's from Hiroshima. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He goes, "My friend says Hiroshima. I hear that place is the bomb." I go, "Did you really do that?" Yeah, yeah, Here's yeah. the funny part about yeah. it. in front of a comedian. <laughs> you know, her husband's yeah. a comedian. I mean, that's, a, that's not the way to go. Yeah. It's funny that have you found that people they try to be funny mm -hmm. to you because yeah. you're now. 
yeah. a stated comedian. You've made your commitment to comedy. Uh, do people come up to you with? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like um, I did a set somewhere making fun of my son's penis. <laughs> okay. And then this guy came up to me, uh, Michelle, I'm not a comedian, mm-hmm. but oh, the J, that. I, I'm not a comedian, but you shouldn't be making fun of your son's penis. You shouldn't be. You shouldn't. He, he, he said that. I'm like, uh, okay, I also have a daughter, <laughs> but I don't want to make fun of her. <laughs> so he's trying to give you advice. Uh, yeah, 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 but he's not a comedian. And, con- and Well, <laughs> listen, nobody has to be anything these days. When, when it comes to giving advice and yeah. telling you how to live and who you are, I mean, I had a guy on Twitter, he just wouldn't stop. He's like, <laughs> he was telling me who I listened to. Oh. And I've never listened. He says, "You oh, you're listening to Joe Rogan. I was like, I've never listened to one episode of the <laughs> podcast of Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan. I'm busy trying to make my own. He's making 200 million. I'm I'm making uh, I uh, I could buy a bottle of ketchup for all the money I've made <laughs> made here on this Pint. on this. Uh, yeah, maybe that's a little that's a little up oh, there. You know, yeah. I'm talking about Walmart, Walmart store bought store brand. But uh, so yeah, do you have people that um, but they don't come up to you and give you jokes? Oh, and yeah, it's yeah, easy. Yeah. It's easy to criticize and tell you you shouldn't do that joke. You shouldn't do that. I always say to them, "Who are you to say what I shouldn't well, do actually, or what I should do?" Yeah, people sent sent me um, Facebook message messages. They do. Yeah, and they're like, "Oh, I wrote a perfect jokes for you. Mm-hmm. I wrote perfect joke for you." And then, um, like, very very racist jokes. Like I. Uh, Oh, about Japanese. Yeah, about the Japanese or Asians. And like, uh, I, I don't think I want to say that. And it's yeah. Not, like, is it supposed to be funny? But I... I, I want to talk to you about something, I guess, a little serious, but stop Asian hate. Uh-huh. You know, that's been a very big uh, topic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what do you think about that? What uh, is your take? Well, the first of all, the slogan is wrong. Yeah. It should be love thy agents <laughs> <laughs> okay oh you did your little christian thing there yeah because a lot of people don't talk like, like that. that but i've never said thy in my life yeah, unless but, i'm quoting <laughs> well, because stop hate asian hate uh, mm. now I, I so i'm i've never had this conversation oh, yeah. even with my wife oh, who yeah. i live with all oh, the yeah. time yeah. but <laughs> we hardly converse anyway so um that's marriage when i when I'm living life and noticing, you know, obviously very observational being a stand-up comedian, I really do see hatred towards people of color, mm-hmm. right? But I don't see the Asian hate. Is it out there and I just don't, I'm not aware of it? or Because, like, I'm with, you know, racist dudes, like, in the South, and they're, like, way out with it, N-word and everything else, and it's it's awful to me. It's just really... It just really gets to me, and I, I, I wrote a poem about it. I'm really, really compassionate when it comes to uh, other races that are oppressed. But it's odd that I haven't seen it, so tell me, make me aware of, is there an oppression that goes on with the Asian culture that I'm not aware of? No, I, I, I don't know. But um, I mean, have you I, found it? Do, you, do I, you find Asian hate yourself? Have you seen examples of it where you go, oh, they did that because I'm Asian or they, you know, they were mean to me or they oppressed me because I'm Asian? I haven't really seen it. So I'm, I'm curious. I'm, I'd love to be curious about this. Is where, where does that exist in your life? I, I don't know. I, I, usually something happens when I go to Costco, Simi Valley. <laughs> <laughs> what happens there? Oh, my gosh. Like, They're um, bumping you out of the samples? No, like, yeah, once in a while, it's like it happens every few years. But, like, what are you? You know, this old guy asks. Oh, they want to know what, what you are. are. You? Right. What are you? Right. I'm like, what? What Asian are you? Chinese? I'm like, no. Oh, I see. Taiwanese? No. Because the China flu. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, because no, it was before, it was uh, Donald. Before. Oh, before this. Yeah, okay. Because yeah, yeah. once he said China flu, yeah. that gives people the opportunity to mm. start to hate. No. So there I could understand it. But this guy, this is beforehand. Yeah, this is before. And he's like, uh, uh, Thai, no, Vietnamese. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. And he's like listing all the um, all Asian the, countries. The, the enemy list, yeah. yeah. Right. And, then, <laughs> and then he's like, oh, what are you? Like, oh, yeah. does it matter? Well, it does matter to some people that with prejudice is so terrible. I remember this guy, this grandfather uh, of my friends and whatever. I mean, we were having dinner and 
he says, my wife's from Japan. And he goes, we should have got more of them. <laughs> That's what he says. I'm going, oh, my God. <laughs> and uh, and they're, his kids, you know, are grown, you know, like my age. They're, like, shaking their heads going, no, don't, don't, don't listen to him. He's old. He's old, you know, because that's what happens. Sometimes we just give the old people a pass. Mm. But here's the opportunity for us to grow and pe- pass on better to our children. You know what I mean? We can't just go, oh, okay. We have to say, no, that's not right. What he's saying is, he, he, says, he says, we should have put more bombs. <laughs> this is what he said. I wow. mean, yeah, because, just because people become justified yeah. in their positions and they rationalize and because they're given the information to do so. They're, they, you, our enemies are defined for us when our enemy's yeah. really inside. Yeah. You know, but I, I have, now that I think of it, I guess I've seen a little more Asian hate because of the the China virus yeah. that's um, out there, but that kind of rhetoric is going to get people upset and and become ignorant and and attack. Yeah, I used to watch when I was growing up in Japan. I used to watch Popeye in Japanese. Yeah, but when I came to America, no, I Popeye, taskete, Popeye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, um, spinach. <laughs> How do you say spinach in Japanese? Horenso. Horenso, okay. Yeah. And anyway. he's going, Horenso, Horenso, that's all. Ah. I don't know. <laughs> I'd love to watch some of these cartoons, cartoons and, in yeah. foreign language. And also, even to see Michael J. Fox as a, with a <laughs> Japanese. Uh, Speaking in Japanese. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do they try to mat- match the lips? Not really, but I, I thought they, that, okay, I was really impressed with Hollywood actors. You thought they all Yeah, they all were, spoke Japanese, like, wow. You've got to be kidding. You didn't notice? <laughs> didn't you didn't know. notice that? I didn't know. Wow. <laughs> yes, because I used to watch uh, Little House on Prairie, on the Prairie. Yeah. And they were shot in Simi Valley. Did mm-hmm. you know that? I didn't mm-hmm. know that. Like, wow. A lot of things were shot in our area here. Yeah. We're coming to you from uh, north of Los Angeles, northwest, I guess. Northwest. Yeah, yeah. and uh, I, I don't tell anyone. I used to say because they know the they know Calabasas, but I don't say it anymore because the Kardashians mm-hmm. gave it a, a bad name, and we don't live there anyway. We don't live in Calabasas. Uh, a lot of celebrities do live in our in our, in our area. Uh, I saw Mar- Martin Sheen down, here. Yeah, down the street eating some salad. Where is this? Uh, where? Gosh, it's on Westlake Village Boulevard. Oh, he was there? Yeah, he was there. I'm like, whoa. You know who's our neighbor is my old friend. Well, my old friend is Bruce Jenner, but my new friend <laughs> is Caitlyn Jenner. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, so I see her often. And uh, it's kind of it's kind of strange to, <laughs> you know, this adjustment. Because, I like, my friend Kathy that I grew up with is now Kathleen. Mm-hmm. It's, that's hard enough. Yeah. But when it's like a different name and a different gender, yeah, give me some leeway here. Give me some slack. I'm not gonna, not gonna get it right away. And speaking of, do they have? Are there? Is there? Is this going on? I always wonder. To me, solutions should come from other countries if you're having difficulties. Like for instance, I know Japan. They changed the gun laws. Yeah. Right? Is it? I don't know. Oh, you don't know this? Uh, Do you like stay in touch with anybody? A postcard? (laughs) Postcard? Is there a postcard still? (laughs) Yeah, I don't even know. (laughs) They used to say send a postcard. Nobody does that. (laughs) But um, so you don't. uh, I'd say probably at least 10 years ago, they changed the gun law so you can't have the uh, automatic weapons, semi automatic weapons. I'm pretty sure about this. And I thought the results were pretty good too. I thought all the guns are banned. Oh, okay. That's yeah. how it works there? Yeah. And then, so mass shootings are down to almost nothing. Almost so. nothing except for sometimes the po- you know, policeman has right, a sure. gun, so yeah. that might get, like, stolen. Yeah, but but, but, but it's basically, very it's very, so I always say when you're having a uh, debate about health care, when you're having a debate about anything, you just go, oh, how does the country do it that it works? So is there a paradigm for there that works for, like, health care? For for comedy, I don't think it works. I don't think comedy works there yet. There's where there's where America can rise to the top. Oh, but um, in Japan, they look down on American jokes <gasps> when they when they say um, American joke. That means that's not funny. <laughs> 
Oh, that if I be- hear that now, yeah. my wife pretty much says that without verbalizing. Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> she says, I said I said a joke to her the other day at Love Master Launch. She said, I didn't see that coming, and I never heard that one before. I felt so proud because a man gets turned on mm. when a woman is laughing, right? And that, isn't that why people bring dates to the comedy shows? Exactly. And get laid? Exactly. We are kind of the aphrodisiac, <laughs> get things going. But if a woman is laughing at me, like um, Caroline Ray, when we hang out, um, do you know her? You should know her, by the way. <laughs> if you're studying comedy, don't look at me coaching anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it's coaching Little League. Study Caroline Ray. She's brilliant. So Caroline uh, laughs at me like nobody else. And I announced to my wife, I said, I found my, my mistress, my laughter mistress. Because <laughs> nothing makes a man feel better than if you are getting his jokes. So there's my tip to you, by the way, with your husband, who is not funny whatsoever. He's a pocket protector guy, right? Yeah, he wears yeah, a, yeah. He's a rocket scientist. Rocket scientist. All right. <laughs> well, tell him some love master lines. <laughs> I got a rocket right here, baby. Wouldn't that, see, would, <laughs> see, you would laugh at him if he came home and did some love master lines. Is he going to see us uh, when we're performing together? Is, yeah, is he, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is he coming to the show? Yeah, of course. Uh, well, not of course. My, <laughs> You wouldn't say that but with not, my wife. It's been years. Two, but not two shows, just one. Just that's that's okay. I don't get I don't get one show per five years <laughs> with my wife. Right. Well, how long have you been married? Fourteen. Fourteen. So the maybe now, the third one's coming up. Yeah, so. maybe. <laughs> yeah. yeah, some special comedy anniversary or yeah. whatever. Oh no, no. It, does does he laugh at your stuff? Do you try your stuff on him? He doesn't. Is that laugh. part of your process? No, he doesn't. Laugh. But if you do get a laugh with someone like that, don't you feel like, oh, I'm the most brilliant comic in the world? Well, if you can turn someone who's normally, no, that's why no, I, 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 it's almost like a, like an addiction. I, well, I, yeah, I, like I, I get I, in there and I go, I, I'm going to switch this person up. Oh, it's my challenge. Yeah, when I tell joke and when my daughter laughs, I'm like, yeah. Your do- how old is your daughter? She's 11. Yeah. And so, she's, she's so anti- that's your audience in 11 yeah. year old. <laughs> and she's anti, she was anti Japanese. Anti Japanese? Until she was five. <laughs> how in the world does that work? I, I don't know. She's like, oh, I don't eat Japanese stuff. Oh, okay. And um, she was like so anti Asians. I take her to Asian restaurant and she's like, oh, I want to go. It smells. <gasps> it's amazing to me. And that, and then you got to stop Asian hate in your I, own I, I Asian know. home. <laughs> but when she was five years old, she found out Pokemon and Hello Kitty are from Japan. Oh. She's like, "Oh, I love Japan." Oh, sure, <laughs> anime. My son loves anime. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. She's into anime so too. She's now in anime. Yes. Yeah. Well, I guess Japan has some originality to it. Yeah. But but they export some some. I watched the cartoons when I was oh, a okay. kid, though, and mm. I did not like. Oh. No, I knew who the Japanese cartoons, cartoons were, too. So you were like Speed Racer? Speed Racer, Kimba the White Lion, which I think oh, was like called Kim- something else. Yeah. Uh, had Professor Elephant in there. And then, they, and what was weird was their cartoons would all, you would see the same, like Professor Elephant, I think, was in three other cartoons. Mm-hmm. Oh, there was Tobor the Eighth Man, too. Have you ever heard of that? That's robot spelled backwards. Tobor the eighth man. And it was just, it was on UHF. It was like. You you have to adjust the little Yes, it was like a safe cracker. So you would have to, it was these alternative channels that they were on. And you know they made some deal. It was Mm -hmm. like, here, we'll give you Tobor the eighth man, Kim of the White Lion, Speed Racer. We'll give you all that for $35. (laughs) You know, and then the the big cartoons, the Sunday morning cartoons, Mm -hmm. those were made in America. We didn't get. Tom and Jerry. Yeah, t- Tom and Jerry. I think that's what you said. <laughs> I, mean, I used to watch that. You did. I was never a Tom and Jerry guy. But they don't talk. Maybe that's why I wasn't. I like dialogue. <laughs> <laughs> I like that dialogue. Yeah. I'm. A, uh, do you know what Hanna Barbera yeah, is? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm a Hanna Barbera yeah, guy me, when I was growing up. Gosh, I wasn't a Looney Tunes guy either. Yeah. Um, we. I didn't see Flintstones till I came here because I don't think the Flintstones really translate in Japanese. Maybe. But why? Well, we had the we had our own version of Flintstones. Mm-hmm. So that was like very popular. What's funny is you know that that was a copy of the Honeymooners, oh, Jackie he, oh, Gleason. Oh, and, I didn't know that. Yeah, and Norton. Yeah, that's uh, Barney, Barney Barney Rubble mm. and Fred Flintstone were basically Jackie Gleason and Ed Norton. Oh, okay. You know? So yeah, that's yeah. that was it was a direct copy. Mm. Uh, it was like a buddy comedy. 
So why would that not work in Japan? What's the maybe the buddy thing didn't work? Oh, no buddies in Japan. <laughs> <laughs> They're not buddies. It's I, it just strikes me as a very serious. When I went there to my father in law, wasn't I was about to ask for his daughter's hand in oh. marriage. I went to his wedding, and people stared at me. Uh, well, because honestly. you look different, way different, and you are taller. That's what the guy who was looking at me goes. You, uh, you look like a、uh, James Bond. <laughs> he says to me, "You look like a、uh, James Bond." Say Craig. 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 You and he says to me, "You hard boiled." <laughs> what does that mean? He called me. He called me hard boiled. He kept staring at me. You're hard boiled. I said, "I don't know if that's a compliment or not."、Oh, But he said it direct to my face, so it must have been somewhat of a compliment. Like tough looking. Tough looking. Yeah, hard hard boiled. Oh, okay. So I'm tough looking. Yeah. Um. So in so strange Japanese,、me. we use English words, but it doesn't mean the same thing. Right. Like pipe cut, or pipe cut. You know what that means in Japanese? Pipe cut. Yeah, pipe cut. I don't know what it means in America. <laughs> that, yeah, a pipe cut. Pipe and cut. That like means, you're cutting a pipe for yeah, yeah, a, yeah, a yeah. plumber cuts a pipe. So that, that kind of thing. That's the surgery that guys have not to have the babies anymore. How do you call that? It's not a cut pipe. <laughs> <laughs> It's called a vasectomy. Yes, yes. Because they're they're cutting、you're、your cutting vas the pipe. your vas deferens. The <laughs> they don't cut any pipe off. For God's sake, but, no man would have it done. No, no men but, would. Now men would have that surgery if it was adding, but not subtracting. No man wants subtraction, Japan, except for the love master. But in Japan, we call it pipe cut. Pipe cut. So, pipe pipe cut. Pipe cut. I'm going to tell my wife that. Her, Are、say. you going to have it done? No, never, never. I'm never. I don't want anybody messing around down there. The same as you. You don't want. Did you have your tubes tied? No. Yeah. Well, it's the same thing. You don't want an operation like that. <laughs> I just don't like it free? people. <laughs> It's like a vaccination. Well, I wouldn't be surprised if suddenly that they 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 start to give out the free vasectomies because <laughs> they're they're really trying to、uh, manipulate us in many many ways. And I'm just trying to manipulate people to have more fun. Isn't that? Wouldn't that be an objective that you want to see more on mainstream media? That, yeah. To have more fun. fun. I was watching. I was. I walked into a. My children don't know the news. Like there's no news in our house, and I'm really clear on that because it's、yeah. going to serve no good purpose. Yeah, news is all depress depressing. That's all it is,、yeah. and it's amazing to me how mindlessly we accept it. We were so we're at a hotel, and you get a breakfast, and there's this br common breakfast area, which I drove me nuts because the woman says I got to put a mask on, and yet if there's food in front of me, suddenly there. Covid doesn't spread, you know. So I'm like, I'm like, so I just grabbed a piece of toast. I go here, look, you know, so I don't need my mask anymore, you know. Or I put the toast over my mouth. Whatever it is, it's just so. So all these rules are always changing. They're crazy. They don't make any sense. So they were running the news in front of my kids, and I'm going, wow, this really is bad. I mean,、yeah. there, there was a hostage situation. There was a murder, and this is what they're basically. This is what the kids ingest mindlessly, unconsciously, and yet, if we were to go on there as a comic, this is where it's really weird. And we said a joke about murder, or cursed, you'd be yanked off the air. Does that make any sense? Yeah, yeah. And it's the same it's in like, Japan, isn't it? Yeah.、Um, When the patriarchs are in charge, it's just really, really rough. I think women should be in charge. Do you not? I don't know. I. You don't want to be in charge. I don't. Are you in charge in your house? Not really. The dog and the cat. They all rank above you. Yeah. God, we should live together. I'd feel better <laughs> about myself. I need somebody below me. Nobody is、uh, at this point. Maybe you need a. Do Do you want a Chihuahua that's not really potty trained? No, I don't like Chihuahuas. <laughs> you have a Chihuahua. I have a Chihuahua. Why does that decision? How is that decision、oh, yeah. made? It, it, you, all these choices. By the way, out there, if you have a if you have a Chihuahua. I know a lot of you are sensitive. Everybody's sensitive to material that's going to offend them. Okay, comedians, we just speak our truth. The truth from this particular comedian, not a fan of Chihuahuas. I want a dog that's going to fetch. What are you going to do with this? Here, here's a grape. Go get it.、Oh. <laughs> it's like, come on. And I like to pet a dog where you can grab him by the jowls and give him a good petting. There, you got your little pinky out. You know, <laughs> finding some space on the cranium that you can rub. I don't. So why yeah, would you so, choose this little oh, thing? Oh, I didn't really choose. It was like a somewhat rescue. 
How does it somewhat? Somewhat, because this is my somebody else rescued yeah, him. No, <laughs> this 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 used to be my friend's dog. Okay, and she had cancer, and her husband broke his back, so they couldn't take care of the dog, and she was left in a cage. Oh and no! And I'm like, okay, I didn't want a dog, but I had. To you had it. to do that out of the goodness of your heart. Yeah. Yeah, I can see making the adjustment. I'd probably end up loving a chihuahua, too. Yeah, <laughs> but I, I step on the puddles every morning. Oh, uh, not potty trained. Well, she was in a cage, so she doesn't know. <laughs> and my cat got really pissed. Yeah, I would, too. And uh, now she's taking poops outside of the little box. Yeah, my son, by the way, not to compare my son with a dog, but my son, when we adopted our next child, and he was it for a while, and suddenly, because there was no pregnancy, there was no prep on this, oh, yeah, he pooped. Oh. He pooped everywhere. (laughs) So it's the same deal. Oh, yeah, he was not happy. (laughs) Many years later, 17 years later, he's still not happy about it. It's like, hey, I was the man for a minute here. Anyway, well, it's been a real pleasure hanging with you. So let's let's bring some comedy, you know. yeah. How do we get a hold of you on social media? I, oh, I have, I have a stationary TikTok. Oh, that's right. Pen TikTok. I love pens. How many? You got so many hits. Don't even tell me I'm going to get so jealous. How many hits did you get? How many I, I, I don't views know. or whatever? I got like one video. Yeah. I got 4.6 million views. 4.6 million. But for doing what? For wrapping a gift box. Okay. And no, oh, no, God. just hands, no face, no talking. 4.6 uh-huh. yeah. million million but i i show my face and talk i get like 20 views <laughs> what if you did the same thing you wrap the package oh, but maybe, your face showed it'd be the same thing they wouldn't care uh, they just want to see your hands and wrap oh, maybe, maybe i should do just a hand tiktok like i'm wiping my kids butt or i don't know um wiping i'm, I'm, washing I'm always dishes. looking for ideas yeah I'm now wash- you're, you're giving me an idea now yeah, for the you know hand fetish I'm gonna, people. I'm going to tell the jokes with my feet. Ooh. For the foot fetish people, right? And you won't see. You'll just, but you'll hear oh. the jokes. So now you're watching my feet, watching the feet talking, <laughs> right? I, maybe I'll draw some lips on there. What's your shoe doing, size? Doing my jokes. Uh, Twelve. Or maybe you could borrow the heels from your neighbor. What? <laughs> your high. You could wear high heels. I, nobody has twelves no. and, and high heels. I've tried, believe me, in my days, my uh, days of West Hollywood. No. I'm sure there are no, t- there are very few twelves out there, so well, I can't I, be, I can't go there. Although so, Caitlyn Jenner yeah, has a, maybe she might have, uh, maybe bar- I could yeah, borrow could some borrow off some. the street. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, I would, I would like to do something that gets some views on TikTok. I yeah, want to get part like of this. As soon as I catch the wave, though, just like MySpace, just like Facebook, then there's another trend that comes along. Now I'm on Twitter all the time. I've got 35,000 followers. Wow. Yeah. You know how many likes I get? Maximum 12. Oh. <laughs> so, but I can put the most brilliant thing, and it just, the only thing that'll get something is if you cause controversy, which I oh. do not feel like doing. I just want to make people laugh. That's why we have this. Well, thank you for making us laugh today and for spreading the word. Uh, Michelle Malazaki, uh, how do we find you on, on, uh, on uh, everywhere? Everywhere. It's all same at M. Marizaki. Marizaki. On Venmo too. On Venmo too, yeah. So Venmo or some money. <laughs> yeah, folks. follow me on Venmo. Y- yes. When you're four years into comedy, you need money. <laughs> Listen, I'm 40 years into comedy. I need money. <laughs> anyway, I hope you all had a wonderful time today. And uh, look, take this with you, pass it around, tell people about us. Uh, we're here for you. We are, we're an extension of you. We are part of you. We are connected with you. Unlike the other sources we've been talking about today, they want to manipulate you and control you. And that's no conspiracy. It's been going on for centuries. That's how they get you. They try to get you to go away from comedy, away from your natural source, your natural light that really wants to have a great time in life. That's what they do is they bring you away from that, try to have you do the work for them, that they make more money and they have more power. We hardly make any money. So if you want, send us some money. Uh, we'll probably start a Patreon. And also, if you want to sponsor the show, certainly contact Craig at CraigShoemaker.com and actually write a letter or a little review and spread the reviews around and tell people, look, there's something else out there besides the, the dire 
nature of the world of the woods they describe it's just uh, ugh, it's terrible but uh, I, look i love living my life i hope you love uh living yours all right so uh, just remember this and lighten the fuck up see you next time <laughs>